When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera. Yes. Thank you for speaking with us today. Oh, my pleasure. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. I have a few questions to ask you about my mom, mm -hmm. Agnes Chiti Anamale. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, there's so many questions. So, we're going to start mm. um, from the beginning. You know, what uh, was my mother's mother like? So we start with my mom's parents first, you know, mm -hmm. your parents. Mm -hmm. you're, you're my mom's sister. Mm. And uh, what was your mother like? My mother was a, a very nice lady and shy. You know, she don't speak much. Mm. Mm. But she's quite fierce in her ways. <laughs> uh. yeah. And she died quite young, didn't she? Oh yes, she died of cancer. How old was she? She died, I think, when she was 40, 48, I think. 48. Before okay. 50. La. Before uh. 50, okay. And sh she got married at the age of 14? At the age of 13, I think. 13, oh. Yeah. And how many children did she have? 12. 12 children? Six girls, six boys. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And my my mom, yeah. what number was she? The third. I'm seven. Yeah, the seven. So yeah. it was Auntie Cho. Auntie, uh, yeah. no, first one passed away. Oh. Uh, she's dumb. Dumb and I think that's all. She's dumb. I think she can't speak. She's the eldest. And then Auntie Cho, then your mom. And then another boy. And then Mama Buntat, then Mama Chetty, then me. Then after me, I think uh, Uncle John. Then uh, Mama David, then Auntie Pearly and Taye. Okay. And the, the boy, before the boy, uh, another boy, you said, who, who did he pass away? Yeah, yeah. They, they all die young, I think. They were only Mama David and, uh, and Mama Chetty died quite old. Mm. The, the other two died young. Oh, how did they die? I don't know. What I heard uh, was that the maid put the thing, put them on the swing and push and then had a fall. Oh, okay. Then after that, I think they were about bef before 10 years, I think. Okay. Mm. And how was my, um, how was your father, my mom's dad, your father? My, my father is very strict and your mom is his pet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. My mom was his pet. Yeah, oh. your mom was his pet. Uh, so that's all. I get a lot of, I and Auntie Cho get a lot of beating from him, but oh. not your mom. Oh, okay. <laughs> because your mom was a very uh, good teenager, I should say. Listen to my father. My father said, don't go out, uh, she won't go out. Don't uh, do this, she won't do. Not okay. like me. Uh -huh. My father said, don't go out. The minute my mother, my father go out, I will take the bicycle and I go around. Okay. Mm. Yes. Tell me more about your mom, how she was adopted and any, do you know of how she was adopted? Yeah, she, my grandmother, that is her adopted mother, is, uh, so not her natural mother, but her adopted mother. Her adopted mother. She was given away. She, she come from a. So your your th mom. Thai family. Is Thai. From Japan. they came from. I mean, I don't know like Thailand or Bangkok or where. I don't know lah. You know, from there, they, this all all the old ladies all they play the chiki, you know. Chiki is a. It's the a card, card, card game. Uh, uh, yes. The card game they play, and then someone say, "Oh, there's a lady who who wants to actually not sell mm. They all from 
I think from Thailand or what, they wanted to go back. Mm. They didn't have money. So, so uh, your mom natural mother is from Thailand, Thailand and she wanted to go back. Uh, the, the parents wanted to go back, no money. So, uh, so no no, no money to return to Thailand. Uh, so they, and she was expecting, so she said when she gave birth, if anyone want, pay her. I don't know how much that one, I don't know. Mm. So that's how my mother was transferred to the Malacca people, okay. which is in Malacca. So this was in Malacca? Oh, this was in Malacca. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So that's that's good to know, mm. know for future generations. Yeah. So mm. Tope, I don't know from from where. Tope is your your father. My father mm. uh, He he also related to. Uh, actually, my Mama Jo, you know, Mama Jo's uh, uh, grandmother. Mama Jo is my mother's brother-in-law, your brother-in-law, yeah. Auntie Cho's husband. Uh, mm. they, they, well, my, my, but his father adopted my mother. Oh, his father adopted? Uh, uh, no, no, he, he, the father was the only son. Mm. And then, the, of course, the mother, la, the mother said mm. she wants to adopt, mm. to have a girl. Mm. Then, at that time, Mama Jo's father also was quite big. Mm. He must agree because he yes. has to pay for everything. Where yeah. this old lady, where got money? I see. So uh, he adopted. So mm. that is how she became Mama Jo's auntie as well as mother-in-law. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. So t tell me, uh, Auntie Anne, how mm. did my mommy and my papa meet? You want me to tell that in listen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Actually, your father came to ask for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> not, not your mother. <laughs> Came to ask for me. At that time, I was... I think I was about 13. 13 years yeah, old? Yeah, 13 oh, okay. years old. And then, <clears throat> so I, I told my mother, no, I don't want. I said, you know, uh, ask them to take uh, your mum. So my mother said, cannot they ask for the younger sister? And then I go and tell them, take the elder sister. They will say, the elder sister, maybe people don't want. Mm. You know. So then, this is matchmaking. I mean, your father's one is a matchmaker. Mm. And then, okay, la, after that, they, your father agree. Uh, okay. They met at, at what? I don't know, New World or Great World. Or where Mama Jo took them. La. Mm. You see? And then your father agreed. Uh, okay. And I met Uncle Baba on their wedding day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not actually on the engagement. Oh, lovely. So you <laughs> and my um, my mom shared a very unique relationship because yeah. you married my father's brother. Yeah. So two brothers married, married two, two sisters. sisters. Yeah. That's right. We were together before the marriage in my parents' house and then we end up together our in-laws house. <laughs> oh, okay. So how was it like to to be uh, in the in-laws house with your sister? I mean, it's good and it's fun also. Uh, we don't quarrel because we are uh, sisters, you uh, see. Like, if both are different, mm. then you're jealous of me, I'm jealous of you. We are mm. sisters. There's nothing to be jealous of another sister, you see. Mm. Uh, so. so you took care of each other? We we took care actually of the children. Uh -huh. When I had Shanti, mm. not long your mum had uh, Indra, mm. and we breastfeed the two children. Your mother breastfeed, I also breastfeed. Mm. So when we want to go and see movie, poor Nene suffer because Nene is um, my father's mother. mother. Yes, because she have to look after, mm. and the children when they want milk, they want breast milk. Oh, okay. Bottle they do one. Okay. So they'll be screaming. Your mother will do what? She will come into my room, she won't turn the light. She slowly will take her breath and give. The, you know, in uh, Shanti will get So the, So my mother used to breastfeed Shanti. Sh your daughter, and huh? you used to breastfeed my mother's daughter. In, in, in exchange. Yeah, oh. Because they are about the same age, I okay. still have milk, you see. Oh, okay. uh, so That's they, very interesting. <laughs> this too, la, we, we do that. La. And when I go out, I mean, at that time my mother was very bad. Her cancer was very bad. 
and the doctor say, oh, mm. I mean, keep the family close, you know, mm. uh, because she would have, they gave one year, but she only ended up eight months. Mm. So, so how did your mom die again? What cancer? Cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb, okay. Mm. okay. So, because by the time they came to know was uh, third, third or fourth stage, they, they can't do anything. Mm. Uh, uh, because <coughs> then Tope said, oh yeah, when she, she gave birth to don't know the... T t After she gave birth to your mother, the doctor said something about not give birth anymore, you know, because she got cancer. And Tope said, I don't understand what all this cancer was. I just left it okay. as normal. So she had cancer for a long time? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tope also don't, don't, don't know what cancer is. Okay. Uh, so left it like that. By the time, but I think it, oh, maybe can like, they remove the womb if it's earlier. Mm. Uh, so until how long? Did, but, did your family feel threatened during the Japanese occupation? Were you afraid of the... Oh yes, because the Japanese, where we were staying in Serangoon, I don't know whose house, the time at the back all was like, uh, so you can go through the back and then you can go through the jungle or whatever, it was funny. So, we was scared, we got a lot of young girls. How many families stayed together? Mm. Uh, Auntie Mickey's family, we, and then there's another family all. Mm. So every time the Japanese will pass so through. So three families one. live together at the Three Japanese. or four, four oh. families, I'm not sure. And then, and then as you go down, there's mm. a, another house mm. where that Malay people are mm. staying. So when the Japanese go through, all, those who, who are young, the ladies all very scared. Mm. Lah. Mm. Only the... And at night they go above on the, on the what you call it? The attic? Ah, to go to sleep. Ah. Your mummy, auntie Cho, all. So you all live... Uh, for me, no, because I was small. Mm. And I was using ah. like a boy's... Uh, Shirt and oh, pants. Awesome. I use same like Mama Chetty used lah. Okay. Uh. So my mummy used to sleep in the attic at night, yeah, just so that they will be uh. Uh, feeling safe from the Japanese. No, men. the Japanese come and, 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 and looking for younger. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, they every night they they come. Oh. They look for younger. That must have been a very scary time. Yeah, very scary. And then, mm. You know, and when they get younger, you know what they will do. Mm. So. Mama Jo will go up and pull one by one up, and then after that, close that, and he come down. Auntie Miki, all the all the young ladies the will young be sleeping in the attic. Uh, so, so as as young um, as as adults, you know, you got married to Uncle Baba, mm. and my mum was married mm. to my papa. You, you and my mummy were very close all all along. Oh yeah, yeah, we were close. We we, we stayed together lo for a long time. Auntie mm. Cho got married early. Mm. We were quite a long time. And then after her, your mother got married, after one year, I went to join her again. After, because I married Uncle Boba. Oh. So I went to join her again. Mm. We stayed together. So, uh. so you were very close. And then yes. you came to Australia, and then my mommy came to Australia. Uh. <laughs> mm. You and my mom have something very much in common. Both yeah. of you have a, a many children yeah. who love you and mm. take care of you. <laughs> my mom lived with me um, mm. for 16 years. You mm. know, truly, she was very happy, mm. um, and she looked after my children. Yeah, yeah, looked after that, yeah. Her. Uh, and I remember your house that one near where that one low room that one. Uh, the Dub Road. Near, I think near. Labu Manis. Ah, Labu Manis, yes, that's right. Yes, ah. so my mom lived with me mm. uh, from the day Brian was born mm. until he turned 16. Mm. And and your your children also look after you, Auntie Anne, so you're mm. also very blessed. Yeah. Mm. That's a good thing about having lots of children. Ah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. If you have one, the one don't care for you, you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> so, so my mom lived in Australia. Mm. lived with me in Singapore, mm. then she came to Australia and lived with me. And at, at very often, I, she would get a call from Auntie Anne or she'd call mm. Auntie Anne or yeah. the sisters would be talking on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> yes. From Auntie Cho, at that time Auntie Cho was around. Uh, so we, there were three of you. We three were close. Lah. Auntie Pearlie and 
Thai, not so because they were much younger, you see. As well as my papa had heart problems and you and my mum had the same thing in common, going to the yeah, hospital. Yeah, yeah, yes, that's right. Mm. Mm. Do you remember how my mum converted to be a, a Catholic? Uh, I think because your father was very sick. Mm. Mm. So, she, I, I think maybe she must be thinking like if your father pulled, this is, is, is my guess. Lah. Maybe if your father pulled through, mm. the whole lot will become Catholic. So that's how I think you all became Catholic. Mm. Mm. And did her um, father Tope object to my mom being Catholic? No. Tope will always say, whatever you want to be, be a good one. What was my mom's hobby like? Your mom liked to crochet. I, I, I take my head off to her. Her eyesight is not very good. She can do a good crochet work. You know, knitting. No. Only thing, sometimes you see a little bit short here because of her eyesight, you see. Mm. But I give her credit for that, for, you know, for doing those things. All. I can see, but I, I can't do that. <laughs> so my mom had, um, um, had um, eyesight problems from a very young age. She had a from screen birth. and she couldn't see. No, no, see. no, from birth. Oh. According to my father, it seems, you know, I mean, all these old people, superstitious, they said cannot do this when your wife is expecting, cannot do that. So my father went to knock a nail or what. Okay. So that is what they say, maybe due to that. So that is blocking her, okay. her view. Oh. Uh. So <coughs> other children don't have what, only your mum. Mm. Uh. And, um, um, Tope, my grandfather, mm. your dad, he he was blind in the old age? Uh, gradually. Oh, what, what was the problem? I think uh, my father's side generation all have got eye problem. Mm. One see? of the phrases that my mum used to like to tell us is, they say this, they no. say oh, that. Oh yeah, that, that, that is our distinction until now I didn't make fun of me. Uh -oh. They say this, they say that. Who say? Who are the day? I, I say, we are the day. <laughs> Who's about it? My mom did a lot of cooking. Can you tell me something about her cooking? Her cooking. Actually, we, I mean, my family, la, they're talking of, first was Auntie Cho. Mm. And when Auntie Cho got married, your mom take over. Oh, so she cooked for the family? Yeah. Mm. You see, we, we were trained that way. Mm. So, after she got married, I take over. Oh, okay. So, my mom used to teach cooking in the cooking uh, in the church. Yeah, yeah. She goes to the church. She she very, very active in that. Mm. Uh, every week, she will go, you know. And she's so happy. Mm. Uh, today, I'm teaching this. Today, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. <laughs> my mom used to have a, also a favourite cousin, Auntie Mickey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because why? During the Japanese occupation, they have to wash clothes mm. and then the, 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 the house that we were staying is a big house where they, they have a big uh, field and then down the slope there, there's a well. They go and wash clothes there. Mm. So they will go and wash clothes there. They will, while washing clothes, they will be singing. Oh. Uh, your mom's favourite song is that uh, uh, Chan Mari Chan. Oh. Uh, they will be singing and washing clothes and singing. How old was she? She was... Uh, I mean, be, before the marriage will be about what? She got married at the age of 21, maybe 18, 19? Oh, uh, that's nice. Yeah, she and Auntie Vicky, oh. they both will sing and, 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 and wash clothes. They, they are a pair. You see, go both got to wash clothes. Mm. <laughs> so, my question to you is, how did you feel when my mom couldn't remember you? I, I did not feel that bad because I, at that time, I was not close to her already. Because I'm here and she's there. Mm. You see? Uh, so, by the time, she was already very bad, you know. Mm. When I go down to Singapore, sometimes I don't feel like going to see her. Mm. Because it hurts you. It hurts, you, it hurts yeah. you to see her. Yeah, to see her in that stage, you know. And comparing her with before, mm. so it hurts. Mm. Mm. So how do you feel now? Now I feel bad also, but 
on second thought, at least she is free of her suffering. Mm -hmm. That is the most important thing, you see. Mm -hmm. oh. It's good that um, um, the loss of my mom had made you remember how close you were. Yeah. Actually, your mom and I, we were close, but I think at that time we didn't feel that way. You know, because we could see one another. Sometimes we, could, we take it for granted. Ah, uh, you see, we, we, I don't feel. Only after lost her, then you feel. Mm. Because you don't see her anymore, you don't talk to her anymore. Mm. You know, mm. uh, like before, whatever we talk, we this, we that, you know. Did you say my, did you think my mom had a hard life? I think we all had a hard life, mm. not only your mum. Mm -hmm. You see, because Pope was not rich mm. and then he had so many children to feed, mm. he alone only working, you see. Mm. Uh, he, he refused to let girl go and work. Mm. Uh, so the children would give to Nenchi, your mom, mm. money to help support the family? Yeah. La, uh, mm. Only from Mama Cheti. La. Mama Bunta, the one, he play a fool. Mm -hmm. Every now and then, sometimes he, he don't come back six o'clock. Poor Nenchi. I don't think I get the money. You know, I don't think I get the money. Because she cannot ask anybody else to pay small salary mm. with so many children. Mm. You know, she, she did her best, you know, mm. to bring us up. Yeah, my mom also was in this, mm. in, in in that sort of situation because yeah. Oh, yeah. my dad died, mm. my papa died, you mm. know, um, when we were young, mm. and so mm. the children contributed money so that mm. my mom, my mommy, would be able to pay for household things. Mm. So all of us, when we started working, used to give my mommy money, mm. and my mommy was very careful in how she spent money that yeah. she actually even left money for us when she died yeah that's wonderful mm. now your, mo your mother is very careful with money because we, we, we don't buy things for ourselves mm. you know whatever there is at home we eat mm. only thing we spend is when we want to go and see a movie like, we'll keep the money my mom used to look after quite a few children oh, yeah, yes, seven yes. of us uh, and then robert marianne, marianne anyone else uh, yeah, your, your mother, she, she, I can't, she, she, I look after mine already enough. <laughs> uh, she looked after a lot yeah, of children. She, and she made cakes and sold cakes as yeah. well. I also do make cake and sell, but I, I don't take any other children, mm, you see? Mm, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Auntie Anne, for mm. sharing all of these uh, precious um, things uh, precious information with us this is history and now uh, we'll go to our That's grandchildren and great grandchildren yeah okay is there anything it's else a pleasure you want to say no, it's okay any more questions you want to ask me um what was my mom's birth name minachi chiti minachi chiti mm. so when she converted to catholicism she changed the name to agnes yeah okay her, her, her name is uh, minachi chiti because we are, we are we are known as the Chetty Melaka. I don't know how they went to Melaka and then they, they end up marrying the Chinese. Lah. That is why we are known as the uh, Melaka Chetty, the Baba. Like, you see, my father, his brother, they will come under Chetty. My, my mother come under Pile. Mm. Oh. Because your mother was adopted by the Pile family. By, by Mama Jo's father. Yeah, la. Which the Mama Jo is Pile. Pile. Mm. So my mother is Pile. My mother is Min, same name your your, your mother's name. Ah. Minachi Pile. Ah. Your mother is Minachi Chiti. My mom told me last time when she was, um, when, when we talked to her, she said that um, my mommy and Auntie Cho used to call um, their mother Nechi mm. by name. Yes, yes. Because their grandmother mm. didn't allow them to call their mother Nechi mm. uh, mom. Is it? Mm. Is that? I don't know because I I came on the seven, oh. on the line seven, oh. so far away oh. to know that. Okay. You see, because because uh, um, Nechi's mother uh, mm. adopted mother Nechi's, ne Nechi's. looked after uh, Auntie Cho and my mom, so they called Nechi. By name. My mom was born in Malacca. 
Your mom, Auntie Cho, and the eldest one, they three were born in three Malacca. Three of them. The rest all. So the family so, came from Malacca uh, to Singapore? To Singapore. Do you know when and how? After, after your mom was born not long. Mm. Uh, so they came down to... Because I, I think Tope found a job in Singapore. Okay. So they came down to Singapore. So after three children were born, they came uh, to Singapore. Uh, and then after that, they never go back to Malacca. La. So, which part of Malacca did they come from? Gajaberang. Gajaberang. Uh, mm. uh. And your father had a lot of North Indian features. Yes. He was high mm. nose, very mm. tall, and mm. he was fair too. Yeah. Not so fair. The father is fair. Mm. His father is fair. Okay. Because the father was... With, I, I can remember the father. Mm. Auntie, and your surname is spelled C-H-I-T-T-Y, Chitty. Mm. So, I'm just looking up Wikipedia on Chitty, and it says, Chitty also known as the Chetty, C-H-E-T-T-Y, C-H-E-T-T-Y, or Chitty Malaka, are a distant group of Tamil people found mainly in Malacca, hmm. in Malaysia and Singapore, who are also known as the Indian Peranakans, and have adopted the Malay and Chinese cultural practices, whilst also retaining the Hindu faith and heritage. Mm. So you said that mm. your father and his brother were both called Chitti, the surname Chitti. Oh, of course. Sir. And you said that in Singapore, you used to visit your uncle in who, Chitty Road. who lived in Chitti Road. Yeah. C-H-I-T-T-Y. Yeah. And where was that? Serangoon. In Serangoon in Singapore. Mm. In Serangoon Road. Mm. Mm. Okay. That is the, the government quarters. I think he was working in the government. Mm. Ah, that was a government quarters. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? When mom died, um, of course, I felt very sad because, you know, we all want to have a mother around for a long time. But we, I also felt uh, relieved because she was really... To, to know that her sufferings has ended, you know, so uh, it, it was it was sad, but I also felt relieved because towards the end we really saw her. She really suffered a lot. Mm. So when when mom when when you realized that mom had dementia, did you? For me, I felt like I lost my mother at that time, and then when she died. I felt like I lost her a second time. Did you feel the same way? Uh, when she had dementia, yeah, I felt that I felt the same way. Mom was a, a homemaker, you know. She was just busy cooking for the family, making cakes. She really like was interested in learning more and more things about cooking. That was like her interest. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she was not really a very strict mother. Because she left everything to Papa. Papa was the strict one. Mommy, we actually could play around with her a lot. Because <laughs> whenever we did something wrong, she'll chase her. She, we would run. She would be with a cane chasing us. You know. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, so she will complain. To Papa. I, I remember her um, always saying, "Wait till your Papa comes comes home." Yeah. You know, it was like more. Wait till your papa comes home. And then, I don't even remember her caning me, but I do remember her pinching. She used to like to pinch she us. She pinch, yeah. She likes to pinch. And she, she can't cane us because we run around, you know. Mm. She can't get us. We run around. So, mm. that was what mom, she, she was not... Uh, she left, she left the, 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 dis, the discipline part to papa. She was always very busy, I remember. Yeah, she was very busy. So, she didn't really have time to... I don't really remember spending much time with her when I was young because she was always busy making cakes to sell, to supplement the income. Yeah, and she was very interested in, 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 uh, in church, you know, helping with the canteen. She was always making cakes and then she just takes the capital and gives the profit to the church. And then she was also a cookery teacher in church. So she, she used was to very, cook teaching in church. Yeah, yeah. to teach cooking and all that. And then she was so busy in that area that she, we had a helper, mm. so she left, she left us with a helper a lot. 
Machi. Yeah, yeah Machi. Yeah, and then um, she used to go out once a week to the other side. We were staying in telecoms quarters, Yo Chukang. Mm -hmm. So she left. She she'll go to Gelang, and then she'll take different child. We get opportunity to go with her, but when it whenever she had so many children, so we had to wait like seven weeks, you know, for our turn. But where Jerry was concerned, he always wanted to go. Ah. So if he didn't get the chance, he pulled stunts. So Jerry used to um, be the favorite child. He he was uh, like uh, he was not happy when he when he didn't get to go. So he he make he he, he would do a lot of stunts, you know. So what was his stunts? He would just sit on. Uh, we were staying in the, on the third floor, so he would just sit on the ledge <laughs> and put one leg out, and then mummy would be downstairs. Mummy would sit. And then she, she has no choice but to take him. Oh, so he threatened to jump down. Uh, he threatened to jump down. So, so that was my memory about how, when we were young. And I remember going to Geelang as well, going to the Geelang market with mommy. And she used to buy... Um, I, I remember going to the wet market. She would buy chicken and all that and some, some uh, spices. Uh, yeah, she, 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 she just likes, uh, she's very interested in like learning, learning, you know, like, like learning how to cook and she just wants to learn more and more, you know, like she never, she, she, she just loves the cooking and then um, remember um, she was such a good cook that, uh, but I've never remembered her like sitting down and eating a proper meal because every time when she cooks, She's going to, she's like thinking, okay, my brother is coming, Uncle John is coming, or Mama Chitty is coming, or her sister-in-law, uh, Auntie Annie is coming, you know? So she wants to leave some food for them. Mm. I don't remember her like sitting uh, down just anything. sitting down or relaxing. She was always doing things, like making things. Yeah. And then she was always having dessert for us, you know? Like, she was always learning something uh, like... Uh, there's always dessert in the evening, you know, because she's never she 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 she's never like um, she has never like sat down and said, okay, I I can relax in the afternoon. It's never like that. At three o'clock, she she goes to the market in the morning after Papa leaves for work. Because so every day she would go to the market. She goes to the wet market to buy fresh food every day, and then uh, she will wake up very early, and then she will sit about one hour before Papa leaves for work and they sit together. She has a cup of coffee for him and they sit together and they talk. And, and, and I think at that time she was, this is in the telecoms quarters, huh? she was looking after Marian and Robert. So we were staying at 11B telecoms quarters, yeah. isn't it? 11B telecoms quarters. And she, she was looking after Marian first and then when Marian was bigger, she looked after Robert. So she always had one child on her and Papa would be next to her and then she, he has a cup of coffee and then he will sit down and talk to her and then he'll go to work. After that, she, she's off to the market and she actually, you know, the, the Jalan Kayu market was very far away. Mm. She actually walked through the rubber estate Oh. Because waiting for that 1B bus, I remember the bus number was 1B. Waiting for the bus was very long. So she actually walked through the rubber estate, goes to the Jalan Kayu market, carries that heavy basket, mm. walk back. She worked, she worked very hard. Yeah, and she, we never had a washing machine. Mm. So she washed clothes by hand and she had to wash clothes for seven children. And the <laughs> children were very naughty. I remember you all were very naughty. You... Indra, uh, Daisy, and Rani, you, the four of you used to fight all the time. So there were, there were seven of us, Rani, the oldest, Indra, yourself, Daisy. You guys were fighting all the time. And then there was Jerry, who was very... He used to listen to mommy a lot. He was actually mommy's pet. And then there was Denzo and myself. I remember, yeah, that's true. But I remember we... Actually, uh, Rani, was the, uh, Rani is the eldest in the family and I remember we used to spend a lot of time with Rani 
And <laughs> Indra was the quiet one. She was always by herself. Daisy and me used to go with Rani a lot. You and, and Denzel were quite were very young at that time, so you, you were not mixing with us. Jerry, if he wanted to come, he had to be carried by Rani. Oh. Uh, and we, Rani used to bring us to all the farmers' house <laughs> because we stayed in telecoms quarters. At the back, there was rubber estates. Uh, some of them, uh, yeah. And uh, Rani used to be friends with the farmer's wife. Why we always followed Rani was because she bring us to interesting places. The farmers, uh, because we stayed in a... So we stayed in a farm? No, we stayed in, in, a, in a flat. Mm, huh? But it was in a farm environment? In a farm environment. And so where was mummy at that time? Uh, mummy... She was busy. At, she was always busy with work and cooking and all that. And sometimes she's she's at church, at Saint Vincent de Paul Church, doing um, teaching cookery lessons. She used to go with Mrs. Wong, and then uh, Rani used to bring us to the farmer's house, and we were what, amazed because they used to. They didn't have pipes and all. They used to take water from the well, and it was. And then we used to watch the farmer's wife cutting the uh, tapioca. Ta tapioca and. And she had sugar cane also. We just go there and for us, it's like, this is fun, you know. Mm. Uh, <laughs> so I, I was smiling just now because I remembered one day you told mommy you were sick. And then she, what did she do? Oh, I told her I had mums. So she actually... Actually, she, you, didn't want, you didn't want to go to school. Yeah, she actually... I think she, she gave me a slap <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and told me to go to school. So I went to school. But I was thinking, I thought I had mums, you know. <laughs> um, but she must have been very experienced and knew that you all wanted to play through it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, she... What else? Huh? She... she actually was a very um, soft-spoken. Yeah, she was soft-spoken and... Uh... And how was, how was mommy and papa's um, relationship? They were very, very loving and close. Mm. Because mommy was the sort of person like she never she never she never argued with Papa, you know. She once told me, when you get married, never argue with your husband when he's angry. The next day you tell him off. Yeah. And uh, they were, uh, I, they always watch TV together, mm. and uh, she always, she always cook. She cooked for the whole family, but she always had like something special for Papa. Mm. She knows what he likes, and, she, and and whenever he comes back from work, he he used to come back like very early, and then he used to have his dinner early, and then. He feels that, okay, she has cooked something special, so he calls everybody and gives everybody a little bit, you mm, know? Mm. So, um, yeah, that's Papa. And if we did anything wrong, Mummy will complain, so everybody will have to line up and he'll just give us a stroke on the leg. Oh, and then, and then I remember Indra used to have a bit of drama, right? Yeah, whenever he canes Indra, she will say, your heart, pa, your heart, your heart, you know. You, then uh, for Daisy, whenever he canes Daisy, Daisy will say, beat me, more, beat some more, beat some more, beat some more, you know. She and will how, what will move. mommy be doing when you got caning? Mommy just sit down and do, she, was, she, she was the one that complained, right? So she, <laughs> so she sit, just sit down and pretended like she don't know what happened. <laughs> She was the one that complained about all, about all of us. Every time he comes back, after his dinner, she would complain. Oh. And then we used to, we were never in the house, we were always playing outside. So we used to climb trees and... Um, what I remember is that when, when you all were fighting among yourselves, mommy never got involved. She would just pretend, you know, and let you all fight among yourselves, unless it got too much. Yeah. And uh, we, we like to... We actually like gambling, like with money, you know, we play uh, like Lotto, Snake and Ladder or with money. Hmm. And then mommy will take the cane and beat us and we'll play in the toilet. Oh. And then she so you gamble from a very young age? Yeah, we were gambling with money actually. Small money like So that. where do you get the money from? Our pocket money. 
So she'll take the cane and, and beat us from under the, you know, she put under the door and cane, cane so us. So we, I remember getting 10 cents a day for school. How much did you all get? We got uh, about that amount, 10 cents, yeah. Mm. Maybe 5 cents, 10 cents. Mm. Mommy lo loves watching soap operas. Mm. Yeah. yeah, she loves, she follows all the soap operas. From, and all her grandchildren will be watching with her. Yeah, mm. Peyton Place to General Hospital. Mm. Then when they moved to Amokyo, she was watching Bold and Beautiful, Dallas. So at home, uh, I remember Mommy was always speaking Malay. Uh, our helper was Malay. Mommy spoke Malay to her, her um, brothers and sisters. And we also had a lot of Malay words. M mommy would... I remember they won't ask you, have you eaten? They'll say, Suda Chikki. Yeah. Uh, Chikki Dara. Suda Chikki means, what, what does Suda Chikki mean? It means, have you eaten? Yeah. No, but what's Chikki? Chikki means, yeah, it's choke. <laughs> <laughs> so they were using all those very rough words, you know. Uh, yeah. And what's Chikki Dara? Like a blood sucker. So if, if we gave trouble at home, we will be say, check it down, huh? Yeah. The only person actually who like spoke English to us was Papa. Uh, even Grandpa didn't speak Tamil to us. Mm. Yeah. And, mm. uh, and, and, and among them, their family members also, I, I, I don't think they really s s use the language so much, you mm. know. Mm. Actually, we felt very unique in, in that we felt we had Chinese blood, we had Indian blood, we spoke Malay. Yeah, but I remember mommy when she, she when she goes to the market, those days they go to the wet market, she spoke Hokkien to everybody, you know. Uh -huh. So they thought mommy was Chinese. Then mommy said, no, I'm not uh, Chinese, I'm Indian, mm -hmm. you know, because mommy used to speak Hokkien with them. I, whoever was with her, most I remember write, writing the recipe on a piece of paper for her, and in, in the end, I think somebody copied it into the books. And uh, everybody was helping her with the recipes, and then they put it in the book. Mm. I think, and then that's why you see all those uh, ingredients. It, it just doesn't work nowadays. Those five mm. cents and ten cents and twenty cents. You know? Yeah, it's not accurate at all. Mm. They tried to make the recipes. But she could. She actually made those things, and it came out perfect. Mm. So when mommy died, it was quite hard for us because we couldn't go to Singapore because of COVID. Um, Daisy did a very good job looking after mommy in the later part of mommy's life and also organizing everything. Yeah, she did a great job because, you know, she, it was, um, she, she, I, she, she actually was um, holding herself and she was keeping herself strong and all that so that she, you know, can do, all, can do everything. She did a lot of things by herself. She was, it was amazing. I don't think uh, yeah. not many people can do it. Yeah, and, and none of us were able to go to Singapore. So it was also very hard for us not being able to uh, be there at the final t stages and also, you know, for the funeral. But at the same time, Daisy shared a lot of things on Skype. So it, it felt like we were there. Did you feel that? Yeah, I felt like we were there. And um, because of COVID, I think uh, it's not only our mother that we couldn't see it. it, it couldn't be there in person, I think it's affected many families. So we have to be actually happy that we managed to see everything from the time mommy's body left the Daisy's place and then went into the... Uh, and we also watched the uh, casket going into the van and we saw almost everything. It's very hard, you know, the, the bond between mother and child is very strong and... and for a few days, I was, um, I was also, also very sad. I'm still sad, but I acknowledge that everyone must die. And the fact that mommy died it, when she was, when her body was failing and, and she was really struggling, helps me in, in, um, yeah. in overcoming you know, the, the sadness. How about you? I felt the same way because for mommy, she, actually didn't know us anymore. She had dementia, she couldn't see, and uh, she was she, she was bedridden. And she only spoke Malay, so she, she forgot how to speak English yeah. as well. And, be, and also, um, she, she had uh, 
she was actually like 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 in in a lot of pain and she was struggling she, uh, to me i felt like she was suffering and uh, because she's 92 years old almost 93 years old i thought that she had lived a good old age mm. and uh, i felt comfort that it's time for us to let her go mm. and free her of her suffering mm. that's Definitely. yeah that's the comfort that uh, i find so how do you feel you know that jerry passed away four weeks before mommy and then mommy passed away it it was quite hard for our family wasn't it yeah jerry's passing away until today i cannot i i i just can't believe he's gone mm. that's the difference between jerry and mom mommy had a hard life definitely mommy had a hard life she She had a hard life because she not only looked after seven children, she also looked after other people's children to supplement the to income. To supplement the income because there are uh, only Papa was working. Yes. And feeding nine mouths literally. Yeah. Mm. And Papa was not a healthy person. Papa was a very sick man. He he had heart attacks from a he he had a um, uh, heart massive heart attack at a very young age I remember that I was conceived when papa had a massive heart attack and he and he was told to go for rest and recreation and as a result I was conceived yeah and uh, also papa was hospitalized many times a year and he actually had to carry uh, some medication that every time when he when when he's breathless he has to put the it was a uh, called gtn or something put under the tongue and then uh, he was always putting a tablet under the tongue so that he can breathe under his tongue so, so mommy was always worried about him mommy was always worried about him and mommy used to when he, when he was hospitalized he was hospitalized in general hospital all the time he was all on. the time and mommy used to visit him every day Did she take how many buses she take uh, she used to that time when he was hospitalized from You know, when we were in the telecoms quarters she had to change a few buses that would be in. quite hard because she would have to cook in the morning yeah uh, clean the house take all those buses to visit papa yeah and then go home and then she would cook at night again yeah but uh, those days when papa was in hospital she would do the cooking but most of the time we had machi there mm. so she was not so help her uh, she was not so worried about uh, about the children because Machi was there. And then he would come back and then after that after a few months he would get heart attack again and he would land in hospital again. So she had a very hard life but she just never complained. She just accepted her life like that. Mm. It's like her life is her children looking at, like a homemaker. And she went through a hard life because when we were all very young uh the doctor actually said that you all can visit him anytime because he's going Papa, Papa. Oh, okay. You all can visit him at any time because he's going. And that time we were still in the uh, telecoms quarters. When was this? When the, we were staying in telecoms quarters. And then uh Papa said, "Okay, uh he said uh uh he he wants to be baptized." So they called Father Suzat and Father Suzat baptized him. And then he just He's, this is his his belief lah that God spared him another 16 years so that his children all can be educated and you know go to school and be educated so at that time uh, when when he was very serious we were not catholics yet of course so we were celebrating dipavali so it, dipavali was like he he was very serious i think just before dipavali so nene actually uh nene was a very, very generous woman So Nene bought us clothes and shoes and all that. Mm. Then after that, uh, he he survived sixteen years, and yeah, that's how we became Catholics. So ah, uh, when when Papa died, I was sixteen years old. How old were you? I was twenty um, one. Mm. And how how was mummy? Mummy was about forty six. How how was she when Papa died? I I remember that she was sad, but she didn't really talk very much. She didn't express her feelings too much, but uh, 
Clive knew that she was very sad, so Clive spent a lot of time with her. He said every time he, he told me every time when I see mummy sad, I'll just go and sit next to her and you know. And then uh, yeah, and then uh, uh Jerry had started just started work with SIA at that time. So um financially we were all uh Jerry Jerry had just started work. I was the the three older children were working. So we all contributed. Uh, Papa had applied for um, a private uh, HDB apartment, so it was Amokyo. So Mummy stayed in Amokyo um, for for quite a few years, and with Jerry. And then they sold Amokyo. Mummy sold Amokyo, and then Mummy stayed with Jerry for about one or two years. Then Mummy stayed with me for sixteen years. Then Mummy stayed with Daisy for eighteen years, right to the time she yeah. died. Mm. Yeah, and she uh, before before she came back to Perth, she stayed in Tampines mm. with me, mm. and then uh, for how long? She stayed in Tampines uh, for about. You know, I cannot really remember exactly. In nineteen ninety nine, I think. Maybe about two years before she left, uh, she, uh, she she came back to Perth again, mm. and then uh, I, I had a uh, your your mate from. From uh, your Singapore house, to to come and stay with me, yeah, uh, mm. yeah, and then when the maid left, after her her her, her maid expired, uh, not long after that we didn't need her anymore because mummy was coming back to Perth. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So when mummy stayed in the Tampines house, at that time she was all right because she just had her eye surgery. Also, she had an eye surgery she in had Singapore. A, uh, she had a, no, she had an eye surgery done in Australia. Okay, yeah. And then she went back to Singapore. And that time, she was very independent. She used to go out on her own, and she used to go out with um, Margaret, her friend. When mommy stayed with me in Singapore, she had um, we had two maids at that time, so they actually um, looked after. Mummy and the children, and in turn, mummy kept an eye on them as well. And you know, and when Brian was born, mummy stayed with us, and mummy bathed Brian, she bathed Nicole, she bathed Mona, she, and most of the time, in the afternoon, they'd watch um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, the the uh, day movies. What is it? Soap operas. Soap operas. Yeah. But but mummy taught us how to look after our children. Yeah, she was watching Bold and Beautiful, right? Mm, so they yeah. followed every series. I think yeah. the children also was following the series with her. Mm, that's right. No, the children didn't actually know what was happening, but that's how she she babysat them. And um, yeah, but mummy was very kind and patient, yeah. and she was extremely good to the grandchildren. Yeah. <laughs> Chan, 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 Chan,